Well, I haven't been doing episodes of The Professor. Well, actually, I have, but I did one, and I haven't released it because it's not really up to par of what I wanted. And I've been wanting to get Tigra into VR chat so that we can do some uh, videos together because I, I feel like I handle it better if I'm bouncing ideas off of another person and getting feedback from them it's it, it works i think it works better if i have actually two people so i'm having to try and get him in in there and finding the time to do that but also the other thing is i've been having trouble with my video editor i've been using hitfilm and not really having trouble, but I feel constrained by it because it's so limiting because most of the advanced features are hidden behind a paywall. You have to pay for components of it. I mean, it, it, it works pretty good for what it is, but I find it limiting. It's not like I'm an expert in video editing or anything. So I've started using DaVinci Resolve for the last videos I've made for Gamers Bay and you know for this channel and I really like it I really like DaVinci Resolve it's more more like Premiere and I can use it in here and normally when I use Premiere I either remote into the computer in there from so I can stay here and, and work, use it or I go in there and use it but the thing is we've got 720p displays in there and premiere is squished down because of it we have to get new displays for in there but to get 1080p screens for use in there so we can effectively use premiere but i actually really like davinci resolve and it it it, it renders videos to um to quicktime format to move QuickTime format, but I've found that those actually process faster when you upload them to YouTube. Yeah, it, it, the, the videos that I produced with HitFilm in a format that is supposed to be what YouTube wants take twice as long to process. And so when I produce a video with this and the rendering process is just faster twice as fast than hit film i upload it to youtube and the conversion is like, like wow i was surprised at because normally it would take a long time for like a, a, a 10 15 minute video it took a long time for an mp4 to convert but when i upload one of those dot mov files it didn't take like half the time i mean i was surprised at how fast it it went so about the professor i've actually got an idea it's something new i'm going to try and it's, it's going to take me a while to actually produce the episode because i'm going to have to record a lot of footage for it I may start doing fewer episodes of The Professor because of this. I want to do somewhat higher quality stuff for The Professor than what I've been doing before. I'm actually started working on a script. Yeah, me, a script. A guy who, who wings it all the time with everything. I'm actually writing a script And I'm going to have a lot of clips and audio and everything for this. It's going to be, it's going to be the most complex video I've ever done editing wise. When it's finished, probably it won't be the most complex video, uh, you know, when you watch it, but to actually construct it. The, the pieces that I'm going to have to use. It's going to be complex. 
So I'm not going to say what the idea is, um, but it's something I thought of. The, uh, the video that I originally wanted to do, and I recorded a little bit of uh, recently, was I wanted to do a thing about the, the incompetence of the AAA industry. But then I started thinking of something else. This other idea that's been in the back of my mind for some time, and uh, I've been watching these videos on a certain subject. I'm not gonna, I don't want to spoil what this video is gonna be about, but it got me thinking, and I thought, you know, you know what, I, I need to do this video, and it's something perfectly perfect for the professor it's what i've always wanted this show to be about and i know the producing that kind of quality by myself is going to take a while so probably not going to be releasing as many episodes of the professor uh in the format where I'm in VR chat, you know, acting out as the professor in VR chat, probably not as often. The other videos where it was me and Tigra in um, Discord, which we've been doing before, um, that will probably do more often. I'll get them together and we'll discuss uh, subjects and then bigger topics I'll produce something bigger and grander or really big important subjects so that's what's going on with the professor that's why I haven't been uh, really doing much with it because I, I feel like I could do a lot more than just what I've been doing I was never satisfied with any of the previous videos that I made. I, I always knew I could do a little bit better. I just didn't like the quality of them. Plus, I really hate the quality of the mic on the uh, HTC Vive. I don't like the sound of it. It, it sounds awful. I, mean, I like the sound of the. I like the sound of the quality of this mic. I mean, you see it here. You see the the, the dead cat. <laughs> on my mic here this is actually a, a, a this is actually a microphone that you're supposed to plug into a dlsr it's uh it's got a uh a shock mount and everything and then it's got this dead cat uh wind guard on it and i have tuned in audio settings on obs to make it sound really good but um i'm looking into getting one of those wireless mod mics or my HTC Vive for the audio so I can get some improved um, get some improved audio out of it not as good as the mics on say the I think it's uh, the the, um, the index has a really good mic on it but I don't have an index and I've tried using uh, little little dead cats that you stick on to uh, keep my voice from blowing into the mic and it, that doesn't seem to help it much. So maybe changing out the mic I'm using. Um, I get a lot of echo. If, I'm, if I sit on my bed and record with this mic, it picks me up with my settings in OBS, but I get a lot of echo in the room and I don't have a lot of sound dampening stuff in here and it would cost a lot to cost a lot of money that I don't have to put sound dampening in here to to um to block it off. So I you know I have to do with what I've got and it's gonna take me a little while to get the money for the wireless mod mic. But I'm gonna do that and be able to use that for the recordings and stuff and I can use that for whenever I'm Streaming in VR or recording in VR, stuff like, you know, Half-Life Alex, 
things like that. I want to get back into doing that. I want to record more stuff in VR. I've been wanting to get back into it. Because I've been I haven't been in it as much as I really would like to. Because there's a lot of VR stuff that I want to do. There's No Man's Sky. There is Blade and Sorcery. I, I just recently picked that one up. That was pretty interesting. And there's Boneworks. I've got the Knuckles controllers now, so I can do Boneworks. And I've been wanting to do playthroughs of all those. And, just, and, and record my experiences in VR chat also. You know, show off interesting places in VR chat. Just get, you know, awareness of it out there because we are trying, it, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. It's, um, it's an amazing experience. Anyway, uh, I've been rambling here, but as I said, probably go a lot longer between big episodes of the professor and then i'll have these smaller episodes where it's just me and tiger you know me and tiger talking where you won't really see my avatar on the screen now whether we'll continue to use discord concerning considering the latest controversy with them i don't know we might switch to guild to gilded i think that's a new service um, we might switch to that. I'll see how that works. Uh, or if it's, if you don't have, or, or if there's a free version, Zoom, maybe that. We'll see. Anyway, I wanted to let you know what's going on with the professor and why you haven't been really seeing, uh, any new episodes from it. Because I want it to be something a lot more than what it's been. And, and you can see my weather display back there on my other screen we're getting snow yep snow and ice lovely anyway thank you for putting up with my rant i've been mike the zorch you know and i'll see you next time <laughs>